Check, check, good people. The Dome Shorts coming live from North Carolina. And since we're talking about North Carolina, today is J. Cole Day uh, with me. And uh, I titled this the, uh, J. J. Cole Exceeded Expectations. And I think that it's a lot of buzz going on right now about how how is J. Cole doing on features. Uh, he's he's out rapping a bunch of uh, rappers or MCs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, that aren't that nice, so it's like inflating what he's doing right now. And so, before I get into his career real quick, I, I think that's kind of funny because when he rapped beside Roster Five Nine, Benny, and all these other guys, and out rap some of these guys that you guys say are bar heavy and dope or whatever, then it's okay. Is his verse overrated? Or some people say it's not good enough. And then when he rapped with some of these other guys, he's, he's quote unquote more skilled than it's like, ah, oh, there's no competition with the people he's rapping with. So J. Cole really couldn't, uh, can't win for losing. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's just, uh, I just want to get that off my chest because that's been some of the conversation recently on, on, on Twitter, Facebook, podcasts, and things of that nature. J. Cole is blazing people, man. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, I think J. Cole has exceeded expectations as an MC and as an artist. Um, I was thinking back on 2007, I believe, the come up. Now, this is what, 16 years ago or something like that? So you're talking about an MC who's been putting music out for, you know, 16 years or so. The come up, then the warm up, and then, of course, the Friday Night Lights, which I feel like is top five or six, one of the greatest mixtapes that's kind of made like an album in hip hop history. I would say that Friday Night Lights is one of the top five, or possibly top five greatest mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? I like to uh, hear what you guys think about that uh, take and other uh, great mixtapes you think on par with Friday Night Lights or better. You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, he has a slew of mixtapes that started out with the come up in 2007. And then he started dropping his albums. You know, of course, when he did the uh, sideline story, I think in 2011, and then he just kept on going with, with several albums. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Born Center, Forest Hill, KOD, Four Eyes Only, etc. I mean, J. Cole, his autography is actually huge because, yeah, he, he, he might have, you know, he might not have 15 solo albums, but when you look at his mixtape run and then going into his albums, he has a lot of music, you know what I'm saying? He also produced a lot of his own music. He produced for other people as well. And like I said before, you know, you know, you guys know who follow me. I'm a big Kendrick Lamar fan. On um, Section 80, when uh, I want to say Cole produced High Power, and that's one of my top two or three songs on Section 80. You know what I'm saying? But yes, Cole produced a lot of joints on Friday Night Lights. He produced a lot of joints on his albums. A lot of people said, man, you should get outside production because maybe that's the thing that's lacking. I've heard that before. But overall, he built a massive fan base with his mixtapes, and he kept them and grew his fan base with his album. You know what I'm saying? Some people really hold, uh, like, KOD in high regard. You know what I'm saying? I like J. Cole albums. He doesn't have one that I would consider a certified hip-hop classic, but he doesn't have a bad album. He doesn't have a bad mixtape. I think if Friday Night Lights was the official album, that would be the one that, for my purpose, uh, that would be, you know, four and a half mics, maybe even five for me. You know what I'm saying? But for you, what's outside of Friday Night Lights or his mixtapes, what's his greatest album to you? And his, is it legendary to you? And I think that age and and uh, region and everything might have uh, something to do maybe with, you know, what I mean by that is no diss to anyone younger. Younger crowd might think that J. Cole is just as good as any of the great rappers of the 80s and 90s uh, to them. You know what I'm saying? They might feel like some of his albums are classics. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to, to uh, refute that. Maybe they think that and there's nothing wrong with that. So there's albums that we feel like in the uh, 80s and 90s are classics and some of the younger guys right now might not feel like a classic like that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to. I don't want to take that I gotta give, you know, every fan, you know, their just when it comes to preference. Now, of course, there are, and we've talked about this before, there are some universal hip hop 
that it doesn't matter if you like it or not. It's a classic. Dr. Dre's The Chronic is a classic. That is not uh, up for debate. That is not anything that we need to be talking about. Ready to Die by Biggie, Nazi-O-Matic, Outcast of Quimini. You, 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 you know what I'm saying? There are albums that you can say you don't personally like, but they're uh, classics. Uh, America's Most Wanted Ice Cube. You know, stuff, Snoop Dogg, Dogg it's, it's classic. Okay, Even Get Rich or Die Trying by 50 Cent. Some people might not. Well, I don't know. It, it's, it's a classic regardless. So those are certified regardless of the region, regardless of the year it came out. just doesn't matter. Uh, but Cold, for some people, might have a classic for their era, you know what I'm saying, their generation. And I like to hear, you know what I'm saying, thoughts on, on his work and his discography, in your opinion. I personally feel like Jake Cole has exceeded expectations, regardless of me not thinking he has a universal five mic album. I think that he's made so much good music. He's made so many good features. He's produced um, probably 75% of his, 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 his work. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's well respected. I think Big Daddy Kane recently said that J. Cole was the best of this generation or his favorite generation of this generation. And that's big. Uh, I think that he's gotten love from, I mean, Jay Z signed. So obviously, Jay Z thought he was nice even way back then. Nas did that Let Nas Down remix and addressed J. Cole on it. He's a fan of J. Cole, and J. Cole loves Nas. Uh, I mean, I haven't heard anything negative from any of the 80s and 90s MCs when, in regard to J. Cole. When they ask about who they like on interviews, J. Cole's name comes up a lot. You know what I'm saying? I think J. Cole passed a lot of his peers. I mean, you could debate about, you know, nobody's more popular probably than Drake. And, you know, Kendrick Lamar has a massive following. J. Cole's following is, is probably just as big or bigger than Kendrick Lamar right there on par with Kendrick Lamar. Uh, he does a film festival. You know what I'm saying? He's well, well respected. It's just in the culture. So I think he exceeded expectations. Um, he throws little slick bars out there. I remember he did that uh, False Prophets. Uh, I think there was that Joey Badass beat that kind of jacked that a little bit for, for the False Prophets joint, man, that he did. And some people say that's it. He, he was kind of talking about Kanye on the song and, and maybe a line or two even at Wale as well. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, speaking of, of, of Wale, Wale was one of the ones, I think, in his graduating class. I think, you know, J. Cole had passed. At one point, Wale was larger than J. Cole. You know what I'm saying? But J. Cole passed uh, Wale. At one point, Meek Mills was larger than J. Cole. Uh, J. Cole passed Meek Mills, you know, in output and popularity, I believe. Uh, Big Sean, a lot of people from his, his, his class or around the same era, he passed everyone. And there are people who will say J. Cole can rap better than Kendrick Lamar and, and Drake. There's people that's, that, that will say J. Cole is, a, is the best in overall MC of, of this generation. You know, same way I feel like Kendrick is because of the variety of the work. I can see someone saying J. Cole, and that's a good debate, J. Cole versus Kendrick Lamar. You know what I'm saying? Because both of them have multiple flows. They both have storytelling. They both have uh, consciousness. Street awareness, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I, I love J. Cole. He's from right here from North Carolina, so you got to give him some love. But yeah, you could say he's right there with the greatest MC of this era. Now, Drake is the most popular MC of this era. Yes, Drake is an MC also. He's a singer, you know, also, but he's an MC. You know, he's probably the, he's the largest in terms of breaking all the records and streams, and you're going to shut the internet down. But some would say that J. Cole is better. And some will say that they like J. Cole albums better. Now, I don't know if J. Cole, this album is better than Drake's. You know what I'm saying? Does, does J. Cole have an album as good as nothing was the same? You know, uh, I don't know. I, I don't believe he has an album better than Good Kid, Mad City. But then, I, then again, I don't think there's too many albums better than Good Kid, Mad City since 2011, 2012, whenever it came out. You know what I'm saying? I think Good Kid, Mad City stands up against 80s, 90s class. So... I don't think J. Cole has anything better than Good Kid, Mad City. Not sure if J. Cole has anything better than September Butterfly. I don't know. I mean, I know some people look at September Butterfly different than I do. It's brilliant, though. Um, I mean, this takes a nation million brilliant. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know if J. Cole has an album better than some of Kendrick albums. Does J. Cole have an album better than Damn? Is, is K.O.D. better than Damn? You know what I'm saying? I mean, think about him and Drake 
as far as like uh his comp J Cole competition and discography wise. Where does J Cole rank discography wise with Drake and um and Kendrick Lamar? Now I think uh J Cole features he's he kills Kendrick Lamar features, but does he kill Drake in features? Because Drake. Drake got some features, man, to the point where, I mean, I, I really wish on my side, you know, Drake and Rick Ross would done an album together because Drake and Rick, Rick Ross don't miss. You know what I'm saying? But does J. Cole have better features than Drake? Well, all y'all talking about how you, you might have a uh, feel away about Drake. Drake got some music, man. You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, I think those are the three kings of this generation. I think every every era or every 10 years, 10, every 15 years or so, whatever, Three or four MCs in the same graduating class kind of you know run an arrow. You think of the, the first arrows of Grandmaster Cass, Mel and Mel, Cool Mo D, and maybe Run, a Run MC. You can add Curtis Blow enough if you really want to. Yeah, I think that second wave, we got the LL Cool J's. And, well, LL got kind of got caught in the middle. But if it's just for the sake of conversation, you got LL Cool J, Rock Hill, Big Daddy Can, Karis One, Cool G Rap, Slick Rick, Ice Cube, et cetera. You get up to the 90s, you start having the biggie, Jay-Z, Pop, Nas, DMX, you know, even Trish from Not About Nature, Red Man, you know, uh, stuff like that. Then you start talking about, you know, that 2000 era, you know, Eminem and, and you know, and, and, and Big Pun and some of these guys. And then you fast forward on up to, you know, T.I., G.Z., Gucci, man, you know, Wayne. Wayne kind of came through several eras because he started so young. But you kind of get my point, like, this is the time and uh, in place where J. Cole, uh, Drake, and uh, Kendrick still reigning. And, and these guys are new. You know what I'm saying? I know there's other popular MCs and, and rappers and entertainers, but these guys have been kind of going strong for a long time. You know what I'm saying? So they're not new, Jackson, still putting out heat and still rapping at high, high levels whenever they want to. And J. Cole is possibly the leader of the crew. Uh, right now, his features are just killing. You know what I'm saying? And Drake right now, he get mixed reviews when he comes out, but he he comes out as far as strong and popular. Kendrick last album, even though there's tracks on it that I really, really love, you know, over it was uh critically acclaimed. A lot of people don't like it. You know what I'm saying? So right now, J. Cole just might be the man. Like I said, he's been around since the come up in 2007, signed by Jay-Z, Rock Nation, I believe. We talking about 15, 16 years later, he's still potentially has the dopest burst of this year. There's been several years where J. Cole has had probably top five verses on features. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some people might say he's kind of like Jadakiss a little bit, though, where with all the success and all the love of uh, peers and older statesmen, he doesn't have that game-changing album. But does every MC who's who who's in GOAT conversation, and I say GOAT conversation, I mean top 10, 15, top 20, Top 25 MCs. I do believe Jay's, uh, J. Cole, excuse me, has cracked that top 25. Uh, Jadik is probably in the top 25 as well, right? But he doesn't have a game changing album. So does every legend or every great MC have a game changing album? I mean, no, not really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Slick Rick had the greatest adventures of Slick Rick, but everybody doesn't have that. Does Cool G Rap have a game changing album? You know, every, every classic isn't game changing, every great album isn't game changing. And every great MC doesn't have this amazing discography or amazing that one album that 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 trans transition uh, other people into that style or influence people like that. You know, some people have dope, solid career. Who G Rap has a lot of dope ass albums, but does he have a legendary album? So uh, the Jadakiss doesn't, right? Uh, Kane, I guess, got one. You could say the second one is dope, but. You know, Long Little Decane is that game changer, but is it Big Daddy thing really a game changer? You know what I'm saying? Like, is it really? You know, so J. Cole might not have a classic, but does Drake have a classic album? I'm not talking about popularity. Do you feel like Drake Drake has a five mic album? I don't think it's too many people saying Good Kid Man City from Kendrick is not five mics. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick might potentially have two or three five mic albums, or at least two. You know what I'm saying? So that might be what would rank him a little higher than J. Cole if we're looking at just this agriculture part of the album. But overall, body of work, J. Cole got a lot of mixtapes and a lot of work. So I don't know, man. What do you think? I think J. Cole exceeded expectations. I think J. Cole has cro cro cracked excuse me, my top 25 now. 
I think if he keeps doing this, he could jump up to me as high as 18, 19, personally. Uh, I wouldn't be mad if someone had him a little higher than his rap skills. Some people might think I'm overrating him. I think he's in the top 25. I think he is top three of this era and generation. And it went from one to three. Um, I think he's had commercial success. He's had underground success. He's had mixtape success. He has the Dreamville where he has a huge festival. You know what I'm saying? Well, well loved, man, in the hip-hop culture. And I think he's made hip-hop proud, man. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to J. Cole. Shout out to M uh, NC. I think he exceeded expectations. Uh, if he never drops some game changer, I hope he continues to make good music, man. Don't shorts. Peace.